Okay, wait, stop, stop what you guys are doing. Stop right now, okay? Let's not go anywhere else. Let's, we need, we have something to address here, folks, right? Something really bad. Did you guys catch the draft stream by any chance? Did any of you guys watch it? The other blasphemy spoken on that draft stream. Unbelievable. If you haven't, I'll show you right now. I haven't enjoyed Malatech as much as I thought I would in the other Wi-Fi league I'm in because it just feels so strapped in like four move slot syndrome, but it takes on virtually every physical hit if you build it too, so it's good. Yeah, it's not it's no Sean bottom. It's alright. That's what yeah. I get from the <laughs> <laughs> yes. Smug or amongst me. Mm -hmm. My logic! Alright! Alright, okay. Challenge accepted. Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emeralds here and welcome to our first week back in the UBL. This is our week one battle up against Incog M, coach of the Boston Syndicals and unfortunately for, for him, he is going to be our very first victim. And like I said in the draft recap guys, I am not going to be nice, I'm not going to be gentlemen, I'm not going to be sound to people here, right, okay? Everyone who steps up here is basically just another victim. Beat me if you can, survive if I let you. But yeah, this week guys, I want to set a tone, set the market for the rest of the season. I want to let everybody else, or put everybody else on notice. I know there's been a good bit of shit talking going on in the server that we're all in. Everyone kind of thinking I'm a little bit over the hill. I want to put that to bed right away. And I want everybody to fear me on their schedule. And that's what we plan on doing here today. So apologies to Incogem, but... It is what it is, my friend. I apologize. Well, sorry, not sorry. Anyways, his team, as you can see right here, consists of Escadrill, Holucha, Hippowdon, Togekiss, Volcanion, Slurpuff, Palosan, Vileplume, Regiice, Rotom, and Stowland. So you can see he's got the sand here, guys, right? Now, what I used to do on this channel was I would really go in depth as to what I would thought about certain people's teams and what should and shouldn't be done here. And one reason why I did it was because I kind of wanted to let you guys know maybe what should and shouldn't be done if you went off into your own draft leagues. Because part of it was being entertained but also being somewhat educational. And even though I don't like, well, I do like crapping on people, <laughs> of course. But I don't want to crap on someone who's new or I haven't really met before. But look, the reality is I'd be doing you guys a slight disservice if for coming back to the channel and watching me if I didn't really highlight one or two little issues that I see on this team that... Honestly, I don't want to see you guys make if you're doing draft leagues yourselves. Now, his first five, uh, five picks, like, they're grand, especially for the format win. He's got Drill, he's got Lucha, he's got Hippowdon, Tokis, Volcano. They're all threats, right? Like, there's absolutely no problem with that. It all slides downhill for me after that on his draft. Slurpuff get, gets webs, but it's Tokis that's his main fairy. Tokis is going to be doing the main uh, work on his team. So, why he's brought Slurpuff and Tokis only for webs isn't great, particularly seeing as how he's got such great speed control in the sand so it's a little bit interesting that so like he's got two fairies and i don't see where both of them come in he's got palisand and hippowdon now palisand and hippowdon are going to be basically around bulky the whole time and you're always going to be bringing hippowdon like nine times out of ten so you know palisand and hippowdon roughly filling in the same role doesn't really work either you know so that's not great and then on top of that he's also got rotom so he, like his fighting immunity is like, he already had a fighting immunity in Rotom. So it's like, well, what does Rotom fill here? Like, if you want the Palestine as your fighting immunity, then what is Rotom doing on this squad? And that's where it kind of falls down a little bit. He's got models that do the same thing um, numerous times. And when you're drafting a team, you need, like, you need Pokemon that's able to do a little bit, a little bit of different things uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout your squad. And that's the big problem here I see on Incog's team, is that, like, he has overlapping roles for certain Pokemon, and that look, it is what it is. I'm not going to go too much into it. Again, as I said, I don't uh, like. I've already just met him. I don't want to really trash him too much. And this seems still is quite scary because he's got extra in the sand. He's got Stoutland there as for as a sand sweeper too. So he's got stuff that needs to be respected, and he's got Volca and Volcano too. I should mention is very very scary. So he's got things that need to be respected, but at the same time, it's because he's got overlapping models like that. It makes it. A little bit easier to prep because you know one Pokemon can be two, if you get me. Whereas you're not, you're like so you're not trying to prepare for eleven Pokemon here. You're preparing for really eight. So it's, you know, th that's what I'm getting at. 
Anyways, guys, my team, let's get right on into it. Starting off, we have Evergreen and Leafeon. We're rocking out a very offensive set here. 252 attack. We got enough speed to outspeed everything else naturally. The rest is put into bulk. Guys, Leafeon does so much work here because of the ground moves he's got. It's, um, we're, and that's basically it. We're rocking out Leaf Blade, Knockoff, Toxic, Baton Pass. As I said before, Leaf Blade and Knockoff are basically only two real moves that are worth running here. They're just nothing else that's really fantastic. Like, we get Body Slam and x but against Incog's team, that coverage is pretty much garbage to us. But Leaf Blade and Knockoff by itself does a ton. And then Toxic Baton, Baton Pass gives us an awful lot of, um, ooh, what's the word? It gives it gives us an extra few tools in the toolkit, essentially, for us to be able to get a little bit chip here and there. But this Leafeon set is, is a nightmare for him because of the ground types he's rocking out with. And his main one that wants to come in on this... You tell me, it has to be Toad Kiss, right? Like, that's the only one. So, there it is, like, you know? After that, we have Clutch and Nidoking. Life Force set here. Sludge Wave, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Super Power. Sludge Wave, Earth Power, and Ice Beam do so much to his team. And the Super Power is there for the Reggie Ice. Reggie Ice is so bulky spit uh, wise that he can come in on Nidoking very, very often. But he can't really deal with a Super Power from Nidoking. So, if we get a little bit of chip then superpowers should be able to beat it. And that's the beauty behind that. Even with the timid nature, guys, it's it's beautiful. It's what we want. Next up, we're bringing Belter. It's Belter or Bellend. I still haven't quite figured out which one I want to call Bronze on. But Belter this week, it's Bellend week two. You guys tell me which one you prefer. But we have Belter, the Bronze on, rocking out Steph Rock, Grass Knot, Body Press, and Gyro Ball. And that's all we basically need. Steph Rock's, you know, he, you guys know what it is. Grass Knot for Hip Power on, Body Press for the Escadrille, rather than... Um, Earthquake, because you might be run um, Balloon, you know, that kind of shenanigans, and then Gyro Ball for the Fairies. Very, very simple. Next, we have Rainbow Arm Melodic, Full Fizz Def, you know, 248 in HP. We want the odd number so we can come in on Hazards, because Hip Power on is great, has a rock setter. And then the rest is put in uh, Special Attack, it's for Def. Scald, Mudshot, Haze, and Recover. We have Mudshot here to de help us beat Volcanion. So the big problem with us, and we're basically coming in to sit in front of Volcanion, but We've no other way of being able to beat it other than kick, other than have a mud shot. So mud shot is able to kind of help us wear down the volcano, and that is beautiful. And he doesn't really have too many answers to coming on a skull, so it makes it a lot easier for us to just spam skull and spam mud shot and see where it goes. After that, we have Hydra, the Hydreigon choice scarf this uh, this week. Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon, New Turn, basically all we kind of need. Hits everything across the board on his team. He's got plenty of. Uh, answers for Draco, right? But I don't see him bringing Slurpuff and Togekiss and he will want to preserve the Escadrille until he gets the sand up. So with that in mind, like we could eventually pick stuff off. And what's really great is how Draco's a great revenge killer here for the rest of his team. Other than the ones the ones I just mentioned, no one else wants to kind of come in and deal with uh Hydreigon, so that's really, really nice. And last but not least, really looking forward to seeing how this plays out. Hopefully you guys can see the work this thing can do this week. Especially after how I saw how well I did in prep. We're rocking out a Hitmon Top Life Orb Technician set this week. This is insane guys, right? Triple Axel right here. You saw me mention it in the draft recap if you didn't already. But Triple Axel hitting those ground types. This thing is work of art, right? Hippowdon cannot switch in here on a Hitmon Top. If, like, yeah, that's the big issue with it. Unless he's certain we're going for any other triple axel, he can come in. But if we're not, if he comes in on a triple axel, he's losing about 60 70% of his HP, depending on the set. It's just two shot. Like, that's that's not going to help him out whatsoever. And then we have Mock Punch in close combat to be able to help us pick off a couple of extra things, particularly the Stoutland, because Stoutland can be a little bit scary. And then we have Toxic just to be able to, again, Toxic something that would force a switch in. Him on top will force. Toga kissing, so getting a toxic off on that when we know that's coming. Beautiful, again, just chipping, wearing it down. But yeah, guys, that's the team. I'm going to leave it there. Let's just jump right on into the battle. Hey, guys, welcome to the battle. We are here now up against uh, Incog. Uh, right, so this is kind of something that, is, that I thought he might bring. Uh, so he brought the Volcano on, which is a threat. He's brought the drill in the rain. or well, not in the rain, in the sand. He's brought the Palo Sand. I wasn't really expecting that. That's something interesting. But we probably about that for Hitmon Top. Uh, he brought Halucha, expecting my um, Tapu Koko. He brought Hippo for the sand. And then he brought in Vileplume, which is something different. But he might have brought it in for... Um, what's uh, what's her face? Um, <laughs> Rainbow to my like. We're going to leave with our 
we're going to lead with our leaf yawn like worst case scenario if you know we just have to pivot out again and we should be able to outspeed most of his team so it's not the end of the world and after that we should be kind of good let's hope we can get this and grab our first win back in the ubl uh nerves obviously are here i'm not a big fan <laughs> I just I'm so rusty and it's our first time doing uh, Wi-Fi. It's a little bit meh. And of course, being the UBL, you know, I wanna I wanna come back with a bang. But anyways, good luck, have fun, uh, Incog, and hopefully we can get out. <laughs> hopefully we can grab the W week one. Week one, straight in it, alright? So let's see what he leads with. Now obviously, with this being like the land mode Wi-Fi, we actually have to be very snappy with our pit uh, with our with how we actually do things. So we have to be very, very quick as to like when and where we actually want to be making our plays. Uh, I'm going to be very quick here and just take baton pass. We'll outspeed this bio plume, just get in and out. And I've realized that in this uh, mode, we have to, you have to be kind of very quick with how we do our moves because we're on like this chess like timer. And because of that, like an awful lot of it comes down to like your basic common Pokemon knowledge. Like you, like I knew, that, all right, we outspeed bio plume there. So let's just get out of here really quick because we ain't staying on this fire plume because of a gosh darn, what should we call it? Because of a sludge bomb. So let's get out of here. Let's bring in bronze on. Bronze on does the work here for us. We don't need to worry about what fire plume is potentially will or will not do. As he just went for the sludge bomb, literally going straight for the move right there off the top. Uh, I am setting up my stealth rocks right away. No need to worry about anything too crazy. Just set up rocks, get him up on his side of the field. And then if he brings in hippo here, like we can go for the grass knot because we've got the the um, levitate he does indeed bring in this uh, volcano on that's fine by me i'm not too worried about that i have my lot in the back solely to deal with this thing but as we get our rocks up perfect uh again we ain't sticking around here too long this is um a much faster pace <laughs> to what i'm normally dealing with like we just bang 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 get the moves done as quick as we possibly can uh in order to make sure that everything gets done but we're going to bring him our melodic as he is going to go for the substitute. That was something I was thinking he might do. He might bring sub because he is going to force switches in with this um, volcano. And I'm expecting him to maybe have um, Toxic here. Now one thing he didn't bring this week was he didn't bring in the Tokus. The Tokus is a slight threat to us. But um, at least he didn't, he didn't bring it. I'm going to go for the mud shot just so I can break through the sub. As he uh, is going to go for the EP here. That's fine. We eat that up. Like, look at that. That does nothing to us. Brilliant stuff. We're just going to go for the mud shot. And break through that sub. Beautiful. And that's exactly what we wanted here, folks. Now, I want to see what he goes for here next. Um, I'm curious. Does he go hard into Lucha or does he go into his Vile Plume? I am going to go for my mud shot here regardless. I don't think he goes into Lucha here. I think he might go into either hip, he might go into Palo Sand, but we'll see. And I doubt he'll go into Palo Sand actually. I doubt it. Because um Palo Sand he wouldn't want that to take be taking too many skulls. I think he goes into Vileplume. I think that's his switch. He goes into Vileplume in order to Well he doesn't know if I have ice cream yet, so it's not perfectly safe for him. Like he actually hasn't brought anything that really deals with this Milotic. Like he he was probably expecting the Volcano on to deal with it and the fact that it doesn't is an issue As he brings in cuts part which is his palo sand, okay Shiny it's shiny baby um, He might be wanting to bring up his rocks here um, As we get a bit of a speed reduction like What do I want to do here like I obviously I would love to be able to get a skull on this thing I'm just put, I, I think we do. I think we just get click Scald and put it under real pressure here. Because even though he'll have that, he like he doesn't have an immunity to it. There's the Scald. Like, does he go Toxic or does he go Rocks here? As uh, yeah, he gets the plus two, the like defense boost there. But like, he goes for the Shadow Ball. Okay. We eat that up. Based on that damage from Scald, I think we can go for a Mudshot here and we should be able to potentially kill. Which I think is would be beautiful. Uh, as he's not lefty, so I am just going to take Mudshot here. Like I'm, uh, he might be predicting me and go into Volcano because I want to kill it, but I've done enough damage here. I just need to click Mudshot and just pick this thing off. No need to go too crazy. I'm actually shocked he did not bring anything for uh, Milotic particularly. He hasn't brought a thing. Like It's just like it's really free. Like He might bring in Vileplume, but he needs to... He, 
excuse me, he needs to scout if I have ice speed before he can do that. He has to scout for that. Now he might scout for it here. As he brings in his Volcanion, again, perfectly fine by me because you're taking rocks damage and I'm going to get the mud shot, so you're going to be losing a bit of speed here. That's perfect. That's that's all I want. Get that speed drop. I'm going to get those, that lefties recovered, which is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Give me all that. Give me all that recovery. Uh, I think we just go for another mud shot. Like, I've nothing to lose here. He brings in Vileplume. He brings in Vileplume. Like, Vileplume has nothing that wants to uh, touch my bronze on. So I think we just bring in Vileplume and oh sorry, if he brings in Vileplume, we bring in Bronze on. He's gonna draw here, probably gonna bring in the Vileplume here. No, he's gonna bring in this thing. Well, looks like Rainbow is gonna be getting her um, the first kill of the uh, of the UBL season, which is beautiful. Down goes the Palo Sand. Great stuff. Beautiful. As the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Beautiful stuff guys. This look this has been a dream so far. Dream start. This is exactly what we, we've been looking for. Uh right, I he does switch here into Shalom. Like I'm kind of free to go for a scald here. Really? Um so we might or I can go into Leafion here. I think we do go into Leafion. I think we just go into Leafion and let Leafion deal with this. As the sandstorm rages on, I, I think we just bring a leafy on and let leafy on deal the damage here. I am actually I'm stunned if I'm being honest, guys. I am stunned that um he allowed me um to have fun there with um Milotic. Like Milotic had just an insane amount of time there. I was just, it was just just between two moves, like two moves of like we were doing work. He does set up his own rocks there, which is fine. Rocks don't hurt me too badly. But what does hurt him is um, my Leafeon. My Leafeon does do an awful lot of work here. I think we just go for a knockoff because I can see him going into Vileplume here. So I think we just go knockoff. And if he stays in, look, we get rid. We can potentially get rid of. We can potentially get rid of this guy's uh, Sand Rock. If he goes into Vileplume, we're going to get rid of the Black Sludge. I'm assuming that's what he's going to be carrying with Vileplume because Vileplume looks like it was going to be some sort of bulky set. We can just go for it and we can then baton pass out. Uh, if he goes into Holucha, like, that's fine with me. He did stay in here. As he, oh yeah, he had lefties. That's okay. He does go for the Whirlwind. Fair enough. Um, like, there's not one mon I have here that's like overly afraid of this thing. Can my, you see this is the problem here. Damage calculus needs to be done so quickly. Can my hip out on? Oh, sorry, can his hip power and live my Needle King's Ice Beam? Uh, it cannot, so we are just clicking Ice Beam. And he's got nothing that wants to come in on it, so we just let that be that. Uh, who does he bring in here to take this Ice Beam? As he did... Okay, he did eat it. As he went for the slack off. Alright, um... That's another... I, I think we can go for that again. I think we can go for that again. I think we go for that again. Let him bring in the volcano. Let him bring it in. It didn't quite do as much. So he's got some. He's got some investment here in Spadef. So we should be able to kill it now. I hope. I hope. <laughs> His EQ definitely kills me, right? Like, there's no. We should be able to go for the ice beam here. Look, if it goes down, like, I'm not. Like, we, we don't rely on Neo King to win with this game. So it's not the end of the world. Is he, he does withdraw. Who do you go into here? Volcanion? Man A. Okay. That's fine by me. You're taking um, an ice beam here. As that is a chunky bit of damage. As he's also lefties. Alright. He's lefties. I realize I wasn't taking any notes there, guys. Um, right. So we're just gonna go right out into our bronze on here. Bronze on deals with this thing all day, every day. No real hassle at all. The volcano has got sub steam eruption. I might as well write the all this down so I know what to expect in future. Hippo is rocks, rocks whirlwind, slack off. I'm assuming EQ. As we bring in our uh, bronze on, we take a little bit of rocks damage. He goes for the EQ. It's fine by me. Apps, that's completely fine by me. As he low, he lo he he just loses his sand there. I can't believe he just brought this um, excadrill in like on a hit. 
Like, that see, is, is a bit crazy to me. It's a bit crazy. Uh, I am just going to go for the body press. I don't need to do anything too crazy here. The body press does the work. Uh, hits, hits the drill. Hits, hits everything that comes in on him actually. And the way this game has gone, given the damage that we've done it, everything like Halucha is his only win con here. And even then, like it can't really, it can't take a Draco from my um, can't take a Draco from my Hydreigon. So we're in a fairly good spot. In comes his his hippo here. It, that's fine. So Hippo's just gonna set up the sand. But like knowing that he, he if he's got coverage from my Bronzong, then he's just missed out on coverage for Nido King. I'm just going to click my body press here, do a little bit of work, that's fine. He's within range of my uh, grass knot, so I'm just going to go for that, which is perfectly, which is perfect. As he's faster than me, that's cool. Uh, let me just go kick grass knot here, get a bit of damage off. Cool beans. Um, I want him to force me out here, right, because... He's taking more time than I have on my turns. I want him to force me out with a whirlwind. I know he can't touch me, right? Like, I know he can't touch me. He, he could sit here and stall, right? But the problem is, like, he eventually will have to make plays in order to try and beat me. So I'm just going to keep clicking grass not get this thing worn down. And force him to bring in him, uh, force him to go for a whirlwind here when he really does not want to. That's what I want to do here. Like, he's almost down to five minutes. So, I don't need to change. I don't need to change up the tactics. Don't need to do anything too crazy here. You know, we've just been... Kicking those moves as quick as we possibly can, putting him under pressure. Precisely it, like you know, like I know he can't be, able, he can't get through my team, so no need to go too crazy, like uh, uh, to be honest. And because I I went for ice beam a couple of times with Nido King, he's probably assuming that I'm scarfed Nido King as well, which is really really good. Like he has to keep down the back of his mind. He might be scarfed. He might be scarfed, which is pretty good. We have Milotic up pretty healthy. We also have this um, Bonzano pretty healthy to deal with uh, Lucha. He's just going to go for another slack off. Look, mate, I can stay in here all day. Like, I'm literally in the winning position right here because you have less time than I have. Like, I'm gonna make, you, I'm gonna force you to make the move because I am not forced to make any move on you. I'm not, so I'm just gonna kick it again. I can do this all day, man. I want you to bring someone in because I know you can't touch me. Why are we here though, right? While he's there trying to do something, I wanna look at what Halucha does as, he looks like he finally did go for the whirlwind. Halucha does to uh, Bronzon, as yeah, he did go for that. Um, and he brought in Milotic, that's fine by me. We take a little bit of rocks damage. Um, he can't really touch me with his Halucha, so that's good to know. That is good to know. And I can I can be him back with uh, I can be him back with my Gyro Ball with uh, Bronzon, so. That's not too bad. I'm just going to go for the Scald here. I have no, no real other need to do anything else. He probably goes hard into a... Uh, oh, a slick back. Yeah, this thing, yeah. I was expecting him to bring in this Fire Plume. He had to. He had, like, no other option but to do it. That's fine. Uh, and we get a little bit chip. And that's perfectly all... That's all good for me. Now, I don't want to bring in Hydreigon on this thing because Hydreigon, because uh, he might have Dazzling Gleam. Uh, we're just going to bring in our Bronzong. Bronzong's able to deal with this thing all day. Like, it's just, it's fine. So we're bringing our Bronzong. Like, he has not got a way to deal with my combo. Now, had he made a prediction there and got into um, Volcanion, then that would that would be a top play by him, but he hasn't. So, it is, like, we're fine. As apologies there if you guys heard something in the background. Do, do, do. Right, um, get a little bit of HP restored here. I am just going to go for the Gyro Ball. I don't need to do anything too crazy, too sinister, too insane. As he goes for another Giga Drain. I want to see what he wants to do here. I want to see how much damage we can do to this thing. Let's go for the Gyro Ball. Yeah, a little bit of chip. Not much, but a little. So we have to have a think about here. He's have to get himself into a better position. Uh, let me have a think here. Who are we going to switch? I think we can risk bringing in Hydreigon here. And I think we will. I think he's not going to go Dazzling Gleam. I think we go Hydreigon. So let's see. If he makes the read, fair play to him. I don't think he does, though. Based on what I've seen so far, I don't think he does. He does indeed go for the Giga Drain. Uh, he has got no Draco answer here, so I'm feeling quite comfortable just clicking Draco here, unless I don't have to. 
Yes, I do not have to. Um, but let me have a quick look here just to make sure, to be sure. Uh, oh, I hate the way that showdown defaults to 100 sometimes for these Wi-Fi battles. Uh, I do indeed have to click Draco. So I'm going to click U turn first though. As I want to scout if he's got the Dazzling Gleam before we do anything. Uh, if I'm going to scout that, then I want to bring in. I want to bring in my Nido King. That's what I want to do. Let me scout if he's got the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, Moonblast. Yeah, I was thinking he would. I was thinking he absolutely would. I was thinking he would. Uh, Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. All day long. Just no need to think about it twice. Just click the Ice Beam. Get the hit off and we should be fine. I wonder if he's uh, fully fizzed death with Assault Vest because I've seen three offensive moves and... If I am correct, I didn't see lefties. So I think he might be a soft fist. And he's probably trying to weigh up his options. He, it looks like he might be trying to stay in here. He had to be a soft fist to take that, I'd say. And he had energy ball for us. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That is perfectly okay. Uh, we bring in Hydreigon. And you, te you tell me who you want to sack, bud. You just tell me who you want to sack, because I'm okay with whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm taking your turn, because if he, look, if he, if he switches out to preserve this thing for sack fodder, that's fine. If not, then, you know, we can kill it with your turn. See, the problem is, because it being so fast, you have to be so certain with your moves, and doubt, doubt creeps into your mind so much. But, um, I, if he switch, if he's, he, do, he actually decided to sack this thing. Please go down, please go down. Yeah, I wasn't wrong. That is awesome. Perfect. Bipim is gone, and uh, Palosan is gone. We switch out. I am bringing in Lefion, I believe. It was an I went to say I should have brought in uh, Halucha. Oh, not Halucha. Um, what's his face? Bronzong. There you go. I should have brought in Bronzong because he has no answer for it. Uh, Buena, Buen, Buena, the Halucha is in. Uh, okay, I am going to go for the, you know what, no, no, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to be stupid here. Uh, I have, I have bronze on. No, 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 uh, we go for the baton pass, we go for the baton pass. Because he might SD here. Yeah, he did, yeah. That's fine. He is SD. He's got that SD set. So Halucha. Uh, level 50. Uh, you ain't living a Draco, son. <laughs> you ain't living a Draco, son. <laughs> Sorry, man. And I know that you, you had he had the electric seed, guys. I guarantee he prepped for that. So I'm just clicking Draco and someone is dying. Someone is dying, so we're good here. That's all That's all I was thinking. I was thinking there was no way he's gonna go for the acrobatics. I just had a feeling he was, he was gonna kick SD because he was gonna knew I was gonna force him out. I was like, you know what, we will we can scout, we can take a hit with the acrobatics and go for the baton pass or he's gonna SD, so we're safe. So we're just gonna take the Draco Meteor here, bop one of his mons, and we should be fine. And we do land, perfect. Had we not landed that, by the way, fuming. I would've been fuming. Yeah, Halucha goes down. Perfect. That's another one for Hydreigon. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, that leaves Volcanion, Excadrill, and Hippowdon. Him on top wins me the game from here. Him on top can beat the Hippowdon. Um, Excadrill can beat the. As it in comes said, Hippowdon, which is fine. I might be able to kill you from this range might be able to kill you from this range might so i think i will try for it i think i might just go for the draco and we'll see what happens because he can't touch me right I, I guarantee he's got earthquake in the back in his back pocket here on uh hip power on if not he's got another status move so he's either going to go for the slack off or he's going to go for or or he, something else i think he goes slack off because he's trying to get the sand up for escadrill as he just about lives that 
He's going to get the slack off, off here. Yeah. That's not the end of the world for me, by the way. Like, he wanted us to kill him there. Like, if truth be told, he wanted us to kill him there so we can bring in our... Uh, so he can bring his Excadrill for free. Like, that was really what he was wanting. And he didn't get that. So, it could have been a hell of a lot of us. Worse. I'm just going to bring in my... Um, I'm just going to bring in... Oh my gosh, diggity darn. Bronze on here. Bronze on's going to come in. We're going to be able to sit in front of this thing. Click, click grass knots. And he's going to be trying to figure out what the hell does he do next. Like, that's pretty much it. So... We're, not, we're in a pretty good spot here. Out comes Hydreigon. In comes our Bronzong. Beltar. Beltar, come on. Uh, he does. He had, what? His rocks were when slack off sub. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine by me, man. I just go, I click grass knot. And I just keep clicking grass knot on you every time. Like, we're, we're back to that. And I'm, that's the position I could stay here all day in. Uh, looks like he went for the whirlwind here. Which, get, I'm fine with. Perfectly fine with. Uh, there's the whirlwind. Bye bye, Bronson. That's cool. Who do you bring in? Like, because anything here can kill you. That's fine. This is all, this is, this is good. This is all good. Um, there's a, there's a potential for him to go into Volcano on here. There's a real potential for him to go to Volcano on here. So with that in mind, I am going to kick one shot. As he might predict Scald, he did predict Scald. He did predict Scald. Yeah, I was thinking he would, because he has to be aggressive. He has to get this thing back up healthy, but no, my lot is going to pick up another kill. And from here, my lot wins, I'm pretty sure. Volcano goes down, beautiful stuff. Uh, I don't think matter, like, what ha happens after here really matters like we could just spam scald and we should pick up the win so pretty good <laughs> it's pretty I, i'm not gonna say it or lie guys like it's exactly what we're looking for here like you know he can't really do much else is he's gonna go out into yeah he's gonna go out into this thing and he's gonna try and break through my logic here but he he can't so i'm just gonna kick scald and hippo and we just got hippo and that should be it he's gonna kick the eq if he gets a crit he kills me if not we should be able to live one and we do, and we click Scald. I just knew, like, I just know Hippo inside out, guys. Like, I played with Sand so much often beforehand on Monotype. Like, this setup, this Sand setup, I know everything about it. I know how to beat it, I know how to deal with it. Like, it's not a massive problem for me. I knew this, like, what he's going to bring with Hippo. He's going to be bringing Earthquake or another status move, and it's always going to be Rocks, Whirlwind, Stack Off, because it does that so well. But uh, I was sh I'm shocked to see Sub. I'm like, why would he bring Sub? And not be able to do something else with it like, that's a bit of a surprise to me because the one he wanted to do with hippo is have a set sand phase out something and then switch out so so was always an interesting one some people you run taunt on uh on it and i can uh, that's the reason why i was far more offensive with uh, my answers to hippo because you can run taunt and be a problem but we're just going to go for the scald here down goes hip powered on g g bud um i think that's 5-0 so that's a pretty good way to start off the real i think 5-0 win right off the bat. This is how we do it. Awesome. With GG Incog, great. Uh, good battle, my friend. Uh, links to his channel is in the description down below, guys. Make sure you definitely go check him out and see how he gets on with the rest of the season. But that's us, uh, you guys. First week in the UBL. First week back in the house that the Irish Emerald built. Woo! And we grabbed ourselves our first W. Next week, massive, massive battle. So I'll leave it there at that point. As always, um, make sure to like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff on, uh, on the video and on the channel down below. Make sure to follow me over on Twitch as well. And yeah, on that note, I'm going to get on up out of here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.